everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now this is one of my app reviews, today I'm going to be showing you Log Me In Ignition. This is by Log Me In Inc. It's a £17.99 purchase from the iTunes App Store. Now that might sound like a lot of money, but Log Me In Ignition allows you to control other computers on your network, or in fact remote access computers anywhere in the world. Now the first screen you're presented with is to log you into your actual account. I've already put my username and password in. I can remember the login or not and then tap the log me in button. And then this presents me with a list of computers that I can gain access to. Now to gain access to a computer you have to install a small piece of software onto the other machine. Uh, this is free and it allows you to access either Windows or Mac based computers. So here's my iMac 24 inch. Now let's set the scenario. Somebody's using my iMac 24 inch in another office. They don't know how to complete a task. So I'm going to simply log into the computer and give them some support. So I tap on the icon here to connect to this particular computer. And it's asking me to log in with a username and password. Now this could be an account that that particular user set up just for me to give support. It could be their regular uh, username and login, it could be an admin username and login but for this one I'm going to just uh, go in with my normal username and password so for security reasons I'm going to blank out this part of the review so with the username and password typed in I can either remember the login or not and then I tap the login icon top right to actually gain access to this computer here I'm given some remote control hints how to pinch to zoom in and out, change panning modes etc click the green button to continue to control in the computer. Now this screen now represents that iMac 24 inch screen. If I move the mouse pointer around it will actually move on the iMac screen and if I use these controls here the keyboard allows me to input command text or I can hide the keyboard again. Next icon along allows me to do command tab and command options Next one along is a little icon of a mouse, allows me to change from left clicks to right clicks. And then the next one's a zoom, and it actually zooms in where the mouse pointer is. So if I move that mouse pointer perhaps down to this dock area here and zoom in, it will actually zoom into that area. Now, for this particular uh, video review I'm bringing you, perhaps the user that I'm giving support to wants to know how to use the Things application. So I can go down to Things in the dock and tap on it and this brings up the Things application and then they want to know how to actually tell the application that I've finished a review on this Netgear Storer perhaps so I'm telling them, I'm perhaps I'm on VoIP at the same time so they can hear me talking and I will tell them that I'll put the mouse pointer over the little radio button and put a tick in the box and at the end of the day the Things application will now put these in completed uh, projects and it will actually put them in the logbook down here. I can actually perhaps put the mouse pointer over logbook and say this is where it's going to store that when it's uh, finished the day's work. And then I can zoom back out again, full access to the screen again. Now the only other two controls I've got here, now my job's done, is some settings, and these are things like color quality, uh, network speed, shake to swap screens on here, uh, show hint, scroll mode, screen blanking, keyboard lock and the very last one is a cross which allows me to log out to end the session. So I've finished my support session on the iMac 24 inch, end the session, it goes back out to my list view and I can gain access to another computer if I wanted to give support to somebody else. So log me in ignition, absolutely superb way of giving remote access support to other computer users be they Windows users or Mac users, I think the £17.99 price tag is very small considering what this application offers. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please do check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.